Hey everyone, welcome back. I've got more reviews for us. Uh, someone suggested that I check out Craftopia, which I thought was a pretty good idea. So I've got some of the most recent Craftopia reviews and I scrolled all the way back like a little time machine, all the way back to around the time that they announced Power World. So I thought that would be pretty funny to compare. So let's see what we've got. So we've got one here, horrible game. Multiplayer is unstable and monsters move with extremely low FPS. Mechanics heavily inspired by games like Genshin Impact and Breath of the Wild. Some of the assets and animations look stolen right out of Genshin which would not surprise me because the developer of this game also did Power World which is under scrutiny for using AI and stolen assets. Steam will not refund me and now I am stuck with this garbage. Would not recommend buying even on sale. So. It's, it's obvious, the reason I chose this is because they mentioned Power World, which makes it funnier. Under scrutiny for using AI and stolen assets, which has already been <laughs> disproven. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny. This isn't even that long ago, this is from like last week. This is from the 24th of February, it's like a week ago. The AI stuff was disproven, uh, I, I don't even know, like over a month ago? Yeah, the guy that said that he's, that he'd like, made the claim that they stole the assets, he already confessed to faking it. <laughs> oh well, too good to resist. Alright, so this one, 31 hours on record. Devs just took most of what's here and stuck it in Power World. News slash stories keep saying Power World didn't take long. It's simple, they took what they already developed, Craftopia, reskinned it to what is super popular today. So many other developers need to learn their lessons, like this dev did. Take all of it, put it in the game, even if it sucks or is controversial. The player base will use what they like and dump slash ignore the rest. Then take that, add anything else that is slash was popular and try again. Isn't that like a normal thing to do? When you're like throwing ideas at the wall and see what sticks? That's like, I feel like that's pretty normal. Even big games try this. Big games try to do new things and fail completely as well, so I wouldn't say that that's too different. I'm a firm believer that Craftopia was supposed to be like a prototype of Power World, so that doesn't really shock me at all. But yeah, the idea of just trying something out and finding out that it sucks so you ditch it, that's not thats not unique to Power World, I wouldn't think, or Craftopia in this case. So I don't know about that one, I think that's pretty normal. Right, so this one, 8.5 hours on record. They just say, are they going to finish this game? I mean, they launched Power World. Is this worth it? If devs respond, I will delete my review whether I like the response or not. To be honest, they probably won't finish it. It, it probably feels like a waste of resources. Uh, is that a good or a bad thing? Well, they probably should at least take it out of early access, just maybe mark it as complete an update from there but I can't imagine if you had if you had multiple projects that didn't really have a massive success and then you have one project that does have a massive success where are you going to focus your energy why would you revisit previous things that didn't really take off eh I wouldn't blame them if they didn't finish it so we've got a nice long one here they've got 24.5 hours on record so not bad and they say Pocket Pair ruthlessly butchered this game. The original was a creative take on the survival exploration genre until they removed every ounce of creativity from it with the Seamless World update and made it Dollar Store Breath of the Wild. They removed everything that made Croctopia good. Suddenly it was no longer about visiting new lands for resources. It became about following missions across an uninspired world, utterly bankrupt of anything and everything that made the first versions a fun game. It feels like there is no reason to set up a base, or at least not until you've already played through the whole game and finished all the bland objectives. You think I'm being harsh? The CEO of Pocket Pair has gone on record bragging about how creatively bankrupt they are. I quote, I don't necessarily have to be particular about originality. I'm thinking about it. I want to make it more casually. I think it would be a good idea to create things in a way that just jumps on what's trendy. Genuinely just making games to capitalize on fads for a quick buck. 
He doesn't care about making decent, well thought out games. He cares about ripping off current IPs to make a quick buck. Their next game looks identical to Hollow Knight and he's boasting about it. Even Power World is likely to be abandoned as soon as it stops being profitable for this lazy, greedy company in favour of other endeavours that rip off other more successful games. Genuinely, they do not care about the games they make. They care, they care about being uninteresting and making money. So please people, next time you're looking at a pocket pair game, remember that they do not care about making a good game. They care about copying other games and taking your money. Do not support them. So, you know, pretty, pretty fair, pretty fair review, I would say. Uh, if that's a direct quote from him, then yeah, I don't blame the guy for saying it. Gotta make what's trendy. <laughs> if you're a small studio, you don't want to take too many risks. When you're learning game development, everybody always says, don't make your dream game first because you will try and you will fail and you will get demotivated. So, yeah, what? I don't know, why not just try and make something that already exists and is already popular with your own spin on it? That seems fair to me. Uh, I don't know, uh, this one was good, this one went in depth, so I thought this was quite a good one. And the other thing that they're talking about with this one is, uh, with the Seamless World update. I didn't actually play that one. I played Craftopia quite a while ago, uh, and I had a lot of fun with it. But I didn't actually play the newest update of the game, The Seamless World. So it seems like, from the tone of what I've got from most of these other reviews, is that Seamless update really changed how the game was, and now the game sucks. I haven't gone back and played it to, to see if that is the case. I know that when I played it, I thought it was cool. But now it's looking like they've done something, and they've kind of butchered the game. Which, that would be unfortunate if that's the case. But... Yeah, that's, that's the general sentiment that I'm getting from a lot of these reviews, is that the Seamless update really did uh, ruin it. So another thing that I thought would be kind of funny to do in this one, that I didn't do for previous reviews, is just see if I can check the profiles of the people who leave these reviews, especially when they say things like, oh, oh, I hate this developer, don't support them, oh, I'll never do this, I'll never do that, then you check their review their profile and if the profile is not set on private sometimes you can see their games so you can see that this person has played Power World <laughs> even though they're telling people not to support it so they don't even stand by their own words I just think that it's extra funny I just find it extra funny but yeah so I thought I would try that out for this and we'll just see we'll see if other people find it as funny as I do <laughs> all right so this one is it's funny for a different reason so you can see here that at the review time they had 239 hours, right? And they say, honestly, I really like this game. The problem is my character disappeared. All progress gone. 239 hours in and your progress is just gone. Would anyone want to play this game after that? Now just look back up at their hours on record. 679 hours. This person played hundreds and hundreds more hours <laughs> so the answer to the question would anyone want to play this game after that is a resounding yes just they more than doubled their time oh man i thought that was too good it's almost tripled another 50 or so hours and they tripled their time played <laughs> so they say here this developer released Craftopia in early access in September 2020. The game has a fabulous trailer that shows gameplay similar to Zelda. However, aside from grinding resources, there is little content inside the game. Not long after, they released the first Power World trailer, which essentially used all Craftopia resources, while, Craf while Craftopia is far from a finished product. I predict that six months after the release of Power World, they will announce an Animal Crossing clone. I put this in here because I just wanted to see if this person's a, like just a giga genius. If they release an Animal Crossing clone or even just another game in, I guess, five months now, we can come back to this and, and laugh. And this person was right all along. But yeah, I, I had to include this one. It was, it was good fun. This poor person, they've only got 0 0.2 hours on record. And it says, it shows it as local co-op, but it actually doesn't. 
It only has online co-op, so you cannot play on the same PC with two people as local co-op suggests. I didn't know that. Is that what local co-op suggests? I thought local co-op was like LAN. Like you're on your computer and your friends on their computer, but you're on the same network so you can still play together. I don't think local co-op is two people playing on the same computer. But yeah, poor guy. And it doesn't say product refunded either. So I think they just bought it. Couldn't work out how to do co-op. And then just left it dead in their Steam library. <laughs> they should refund it, really. So I've got another good one here. Where I checked this person's profile as well. And again, I'm just going to censor most of the name. Because I don't want to put these people on blast. But it's just kind of funny. So they say... Devs ditched this game to make a rip-off Pokemon game. Not impressed and won't be buying Power World. Which is horribly named, by the way. I feel like my money was stolen from me on this one. It's not even out, out of early access and it's cancelled. Well, unfortunately for this person again, it looks like they said they're not going to be playing Power World and it's got a terrible name, but you can see right here they've clearly been playing and clearly been enjoying, so... <laughs> I don't know if these people just... They, they want to shit talk the game because like they're trying to collect steam points or something maybe like it's popular to do it so then they do it to try and get the steam points but then when the new thing does come out they do want to actually play it i just don't know why they would do that if i don't like something i don't do it unless it's a necessity you know if it's a if it's an optional activity for recreation and i don't like it i just will not do it i'll just do something different so i don't know why these people like they say they hate these games but then they still play them or they say they're I'm never going to support this company again, but then they buy their next game. Or, I'm not going to play Power World, it sucks. But then they go and play like, I mean, near enough to 70 hours, 67 hours. I feel like they need to private their profiles if they're going to do this, because otherwise I can just come and look and see that they're wrong and lying. <laughs> and just talking shit. But anyway, I, I just find it too funny. It's like they're saying one thing and then secretly going and doing the thing that they're saying not to do. Oh, hypocritical, that's what it is. Is that what it is? Hmm, maybe. But it's just too funny. I, I love seeing this shit. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> so yeah, that that's going to do it for the Craftopia reviews. There was some bangers in there. We knew there was going to be some people that were mad about Power World. I just love it. I thrive on that shit. I'm like a little goblin or something that just likes to see people cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why I like it. But I just love seeing people rage about stuff that does not matter. Oh no, I spent $20 on a game and I only got to play it for 50 hours. I feel scammed. <laughs> I don't know what these people want. Uh, but then the cases where they really should refund, they don't. Like that guy with the 0 0.2 hours couldn't work out how to play with his friend. Why would you not refund it? You're well within the refund thing. I refunded a game yesterday. I bought Lego Lord of the Rings. I wanted to play it on stream. I couldn't play it on stream because you can't go into borderless windowed, which it was just locking my mouse on the screen and I wouldn't have been able to like go across and click on things. I tried to download a program to make it that I could do that. It didn't work. So I refunded it. Guess what? Now I got $7 credit sitting in my Steam account. I'll buy something else later. I'm not going to leave it sitting there if I can't use it. So, in some cases, they just need to use that juicy refund button. And in other cases, they need to decide. If you've played a game for 50 hours, you got your money's worth. Uh, that's it. That really is it. I don't know if people are expecting to play for hundreds of hours, or... At what point do they realize that they got what they paid for? I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'm too generous and too lenient on, like, the, the value or something, but... I feel like if you can do something for that long, that's worth it. Maybe it's like they're not they're not like uh, putting a different comparison to it. Like if I go to the pub and I have to spend ten dollars for a beer and the beer lasts me thirty minutes, and I want to get three beers, that's thirty bucks for an hour and a half of entertainment. Or I can buy a video game on Steam and get fifty hours of entertainment. Which one is better? how I do my own value things. Everyone values stuff differently, but that's typically how I do mine. What could I get 
with the same amount of money, what would be the most like time worth of entertainment is kind of how I do it. Yeah. Some of these people obviously don't. But anyway, that's that one. I'll gladly take more review ideas. This one was actually supplied by someone and I thought it was great. So yeah, if you like this kind of random stuff, like the video, subscribe. I've been getting into the swing of things now, so I've been making some more videos. It's been good fun. Still trying to work out my formula of how I'm doing things. Uh, uh, so far it's been so far it's been nice. It's a good it's a good project, so yeah, I've been enjoying it. And I'm gonna keep doing it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.